I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on isotopes. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Dr. Destroyer book and the Orgoman products. I'd like to go over a real challenge problem with you on isotopes. So come around and let's have a look. Whenever you have an isotope, you want to remember it's atoms of the same element, but they're going to have different masses. The masses are different because they have different number of neutrons. But remember, the atomic number, which is the number of protons, never changes. So in an isotope, they have different number of neutrons, and consequently, the masses are different. Now, in this challenge problem, I say to you that chlorine has two isotopes. We have 35, and the other way is 37. And the atomic mass of chlorine, if you looked it up on the table, you'll see it's 35.48. And what I want to do is to find the abundance of each isotope. This question is a very commonly asked question in freshman chemistry, and here's how to do it. We're going to let X equal one of the isotopes. So I'll just pick one of them. Let it be the percent of Cl37. The gimmick is to make the other isotope 1 minus X, and that would be the percent of the Cl35. So one of the percents is going to be x, the other would be 1 minus x. So what we're going to do is we know the mass times the percent of one isotope plus the mass times the percent of the other isotope must equal to whatever the true atomic mass is. So it's going to be 37 times x, because that was the percent of the 37 isotope, plus 35 times 1 minus x, which was the percent of the 35 isotope here, equals the total weight or mass is 35.48. So it's 37x. Distribute, you get 35 minus 35x equals 35.48. 37x minus 35x is 2x. Subtract the 35 from both sides, and you get a nice number. X is 0.24. If you multiply it by 100, you convert it into percents. So X is 24%, and that's the 37 isotope. And 1 minus 0.24 gives you 0.76, or 76%, for the percent of the 35 chlorine isotope. These are very good problems, and you want to make sure you can do them. They're a little tricky. All right, let's do one more easy one. Now... Here's a short back question on the dad. I give you a 3116 sulfide isotope. And I want to know what is the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Well, the protons are easy. That's the 16. The neutrons, you simply take the mass minus the atomic number, and that would give me 15. And finally... If something is neutral, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. But this is not neutral. This means it's got two additional electrons. So that means you're going to add two to here, and this would give 18 electrons. I hope this drives home some good concepts on isotopes. If you got any questions, you can hit me up on the study group on Facebook. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.